checked it out. New gear, go scope. Awesome. I'm not worried about this thing getting banged up and not working. And again, go scope. Perfectly protected. You gotta love it. I love it when something just works. I'm gonna take two seconds and just talk about, since I'm using my new GoScope protector for both the Mavic, the controller, and there's one for the battery. I didn't bring the one for the battery today. But if you've seen any of my other reviews, my gear, my stuff, the one thing that is consistent is my GoScope poles. I also have another GoScope backpack, which I use for my DJI Phantom 3. Amazing, but everything that GoScope puts their name on, buys, makes, puts out this top quality stuff. You'll find, if take for instance, the Joby uh, Gorillapod. Buy some of the cheap knockoffs, they break, they fall apart. There is nothing like going with the original for quality. And when I've been out many times, if you're like me, you take your Mavic or any of the other drones and you throw it in a backpack, right? And with the Mavic, it seems really flimsy and I've always been really, really worried what's gonna break, what's not gonna work. Put it in here, everything is super protected. It's got these neat belt pouches on the back so you can, uh, if you wanted to just carry it with you when you were hiking like this, no problem. This carries the controller so you don't have to worry about any of the, the joysticks getting messed up. The other cool thing about this I discovered if you have any point and shoots, Sony's fit perfectly in here. The R105 fits in here like a dream. So does the X3000. So just keep that in mind. It's really versatile if you're going someplace. This is actually easier to carry like this and get your point and shoot out than some of the others that are on the market. But anyway, and this is also water resistant because of the rubberized, uh, rubberized zippers. Awesome stuff. So again, to Kyle, Lindsay, and Danimal, thank you. Another quality product. I'm behind you guys 100%. And I do have to say that, just a quick disclaimer, Kyle, um, I, all the other stuff I have bought on my own because I absolutely love it. Yes, I'm gonna buy another one of the smaller uh, ghost goat poles because I wanna have versatility. But Kyle got a hold of me, he said, hey, how are you storing your Mavic? And I told him, and he sent these to me so that I could try them. Again, Kyle, thank you, thank you. Um, this is awesome, and if you look inside here for your Mavic, you can carry all your extra goodies in here too. Extra propellers, uh, maybe an extra chip or two. That's it, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. This is a fantastic, product. Again, always buy the original, not some knockoff because the knockoff stuff honestly is crap. I try never to buy knockoff stuff, but go scope. Go scope it out. Hey, thanks guys. We'll see you out on the road. We're going to fly that way now. I haven't done one of these shots in a long time. Let's go. So what I was just explaining to these guys, and James hopefully put it on Instagram so I can so I can tag GoScope. <laughs> no, all my yes and no. I have two GoScope poles, and the reason I like these is because these never break. I've used others that are flimsy and they don't work. This will hold one of my big cameras like that, no problem, all day long. What tends to break is these little screws because I'm using it in an action setting and it's not an action camera. So I have two of these that I bought because I thought these things are amazing. Then I bought the backpack for my Phantom 3, which is also amazing, but that's a big, big, big drone. Yeah, 
And so as, um, uh, you know, technology changes, and I, I've been in touch with Kyle many times just because I think it's such an awesome company. I've tried to, I've reached out to so many different companies. Hey, I like this, I like that. Nobody gets back to you. And that's the cool thing about Kyle from GoScope is he gets right back to you. Send him an email, he'll email you back. You get something from them. It's packaged in a box, hand taped. It's awesome. So he got a hold of me and he said, he said, what are you putting your Mavic in? I said, well, I just throw it in my backpack, you know? And he said, well, here, try these. So he did send me this and the review I'm doing, it's an honest review. This is awesome. You guys, you just, you just saw how well it protects. It's thick, you know, and it's pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. It, it protects your stuff really well. Yeah. And with the rubberized stuff there, because I carry plastic bags in case something starts to rain so I can quickly throw it in. And then the Mavic, what I've always been worried about throwing it in the backpack is the oh. propellers. So that's, that's the drone. And I can put the additional propellers in here and, and extra cards and something in a little plastic bag go like this. Everything's fully protected and I don't have to worry about any of it. No, this backpack is just a cheap little camera backpack. It's small. And it's got, in, so in addition to my remote, which fits nicely in there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot lighter than that. It's actually pretty light. If you take it out of the protective case, it's really light. And we'll do that too. And then the other thing that it comes with is a protector for the battery. Because if you hit the prongs wrong, it'll, it'll uh, short your battery out. And of course, when you travel, you also have to have an extra lens for filming. You just never know. Extra filters just in case one breaks. <laughs>